Today, I attempted a three nautical mile random landing. Using the X-Plane Approach Start feature, I landed at any airport with a possible runway distance. This video was created using X-Plane 12.1 Beta 7 Started and the air. free co-pilot add-on. Yet another window. Speed on. Both flight directors on. Pilot weather radar on. Co-pilot terrain radar on. Below 10,000 feet. MCP speed 104. Speed brake armed. Auto throttle off. Position lights strobe. Both runway turn off lights off. Taxi lights off. Auto brake one. 500. Transponder TARA. Approach has no ILS or GLS. Linda will handle the landing procedures. I will only be piloting. The most noticeable feature for me in X-Plane 12.1 Beta 7 is the anti-aliasing. The instrument panel and various Taxi objects have become significantly clearer. Both I have not enabled RCS. Both starters continuous. Set missed approach altitude. Since this is not a normal full flight, Linda's procedures might be somewhat delayed or mismatched. 100. 50, 40, 30, 20. Yeah. Speed brake up. Reverser one on. Reverser two on. After landing, it is an international tradition to enjoy a short replay. When starting at 3 nautical miles with the Zebo 738X, a lot of distance is lost initially in stabilizing the aircraft's attitude. Started in the air. Below 2,500 feet. Auto throttle armed. Speed on. Both flight directors on. Pilot weather radar on. Co-pilot terrain radar on. Below 10,000 feet. MCP speed 104. Auto throttle off. Speed brake armed. Position lights strobe. Both runway turn off lights off. Taxi lights off. Auto brake one. Transponder TARA. Approach has no ILS or GLS. 500. Four hundred. Taxi lights on. Both runway turn off lights on. Both starters continuous. Set missed approach altitude. The tailwind is strong. I started three nautical miles without checking the available runways. This is to make multiple attempts quickly. It's a type of flight we can only do in a simulator. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Speed brake up. Both reversers on.
Positive rate. Started in the air. Below 2,500 feet. Auto throttle armed. Speed on. Both flight directors on. Pilot weather radar on. Copilot terrain radar on. Below 10,000 feet. MCP speed 104. Speed brake armed. Auto throttle off. Position lights strobe. Both runway turn off lights off. Taxi lights off. Auto brake one. Transponder TAR. Approach has no ILS or GL. Taxi lights on. Both runway turn off lights on. Both starters continuous. 400. Set missed approach altitude. 300. Feels like it would make your butt hurt. Eighty knots. Sixty knots. Both Spoilers reversers off. Auto brake disarmed. disarmed. Speed brake down. Did you know that the replay screen has also been improved in version twelve point one? Starting from around version 12.8, user aircraft had a very short LOD applied, causing parts to disappear one by one when viewed from a distance. The engine, landing gear, wings, one by one. Started in the air. Below 2,500 feet. Both flight directors on. Pilot weather radar on. Co-pilot terrain radar on. Below 10,000 feet. MCP speed 104. Speed brake armed. Position lights strobe. Both runway turn off lights off. Taxi lights off. Auto brake 1. Transponder TARA. Approach has no ILS or GLS. Five hundred. Four hundred. Taxi lights on. Three hundred. Both runway turn off lights on. Both starters continuous. Set missed approach altitude. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. 20, 10. Speed brake down. Speed brake up. Reverser one on. Reverser two on. 80 knots. Both reversers off. Auto brake disarmed. Speed brake down. Another joy of doing three nautical mile random landings is discovering beautiful airports with stunning scenery that I hadn't known about before. The camera work. Luckily, it was captured beautifully. The RTX dynamic vibrance is turned on, but it seems the AI has overprocessed the scene a bit. Positive rate. Started in the air. Below 2,500 feet. Auto throttle armed. Speed on. Both flight directors on. Pilot weather radar on. Co-pilot terrain radar on. Below 10,000 feet. 
MCP speed 140 speed brake armed. Auto throttle off. Position lights strobe. Both runway turn off lights off. Taxi lights off. Auto brake 1. Transponder TARA. Approach has no ILS or GLS. I think the night view in X Plane 12 is probably the most beautiful among major flight simulators. lights on 300 both runway turn off lights on both starters continuous Two. set missed approach altitude 100 50 40 30 20 10 speed break up reverser one on Reverser 2 on. 80 knots. 60 knots. Both Spoiled. reversers off. Spoiled. Auto brake disarmed. disarmed. Speed brake down. From this replay onward, I have turned off the RTX dynamic vibrance. in the air. Below 2,500 feet. Auto throttle armed. Speed on. Both flight directors on. Pilot weather radar on. Co-pilot terrain radar on. Below 10,000 feet. MCP speed 140. Speed brake armed. Auto throttle off. Position lights strobe. Both runway turn off lights off. Taxi lights off. Auto brake one. Transponder TARA. Approach has no ILS or GLS. I can see the poppy lights, but the runway lights are not visible. Five. It seems like this runway might not have any lighting. I'm approaching with the assumption that the runway is roughly to the right of the poppy eye lights. Taxi lights on. Both runway turn off lights on. Both starters 200. continuous. Set missed approach altitude. The poppy lights in the runway were closer than I expected. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Speed break extended. Speed break up. Both reversers on. 80 knots. Reversers Speed off. Brake Speed brake down. Disarmed. Auto brake disarmed. watching please subscribe and like that wraps up this video thank you